Hello everybody, this is Unknown Scout 91 here, back again with another uh, Steam video, how to get Steam on Windows 8. Uh, I do apologize for the three months gap and for not replying to most of the comments, I do apologize for that because I was finding a fix for it. Now three months could, couldn't be that, no. it, it, is, it is not possible for someone to search for an app for three months yes but I was busy with my life however the good news is I have found a way to get steam on Windows 8 and 8.1 and this might be the best version to run steam on Windows 7 as well I'm pretty sure I'm not sure how so first up I have some links here shout out to this youtuber he, I took some, st I took some stuff, for, like for example this one. This will help us a lot in the in the steps. First up, I need you guys to do is to download Steam from the original Steam website. But hold on, the, it won't work. That's what you want, might think. Well, yeah, it won't work. However, uh, I found a solution. Now I'm opening Microsoft Edge because yeah it, it sucks but as well this is a virtual machine by the way this isn't real windows 8 uh, download on an actual pc so this is this is on a virtual machine now the web version works fine however the app itself won't open because well it's unsupported now so i want you guys to install steam which here we are since this is on a virtual machine things run three times slower and generally sucks so I won't really recommend I recommend you guys to game on a virtual machine now that we have steam uh, steam installed this is Windows 8.1 build by the way not Windows 8 so but however it still works I'm pretty sure next just go through the setup just fine yeah install all right now we're downloading let it do its stuff this is on a virtual machine so everything generally sucks slowly and everything however we got this after it's installed after installed we run steam normally but it won't work either way just just install wait for it to check for updates it will install the latest version of steam and the latest version of steam will realize that this is on a windows 8.1 build and won't open i'll show it to you guys right now As you can see, no matter how much I try to open Steam, it won't open. That's because, as you all know, it's unsupported and won't show up anything. No matter how much I click, you can hear the clicking. It doesn't open. I can show you here in the background. There yeah, nothing. So, this is where the vi this video uh, this video comes up we're gonna have to do all we're gonna have to do is n click right click new uh, text document no matter how much we try to open it never generally opens the hell yeah I don't know about that well I don't think it would open anyway so 
this is what we're gonna do have to do go here copy this boot copy and now we save it save as make sure make sure to click uh, not text doc, all files name it as steam.cfg the youtuber has done an excellent job on this however his youtube tutorial the screen v ratio is literally on <coughs> wide screen so local disk steam just save now this will uh, disable updates this may now we just restart steam it may have looked like it opened and everything but however uh, I'm pretty sure that when an update comes up steam will fail to load so right now what this youtuber insists is that he's saying for those you know first of all make sure steam is now running in the background once you do that all you need to do is create exactly go to file save now launch steam and manual check for update so yes this will disable updates but in the but in the bright side you will still have the latest version of steam i've heard some people saying that they have been having some game issues with new games and that's the the problem is that they're running an old version of steam which i showed in my last video that's an old version of Steam and therefore it sucked it doesn't it still works but uh, only for like old games and stuff it has the old UI now we wait for this to load there we are let me write in my details Now that we're logging in, uh, we have to check if we can check for updates, which wouldn't work because we have disabled it, just like what we did in the last, last video or last video with the steam.cfg and OSVER. <laughs> Things look promising. This is on a virtual machine, like I mentioned, and things here are gonna run ten times slower. But generally, for some reason, this shocked me because how's it still running? Well, let's just pray it stays like that. I have disabled. We have disabled the update, so. Pretty sure it won't check. Something went wrong. Yeah, so we're d we're basically ready to go. I will find a solution for this. However, I did find one, but it's for an old version of Steam, and we don't need that. We need the newest version of Steam. But we can't. We uh, let's just say let's just keep it like that. It won't do anything. It's just a countdown. The re the real uh, thing that would actually unsupport Steam is the updates. Now I'll, I'll try I'll try downloading the 
the most basic game here because if I do download a, a huge game, this uh, this uh, virtual machine will explode. downloading but it's very very slow now now that the game is completely installed we're gonna click play this is on a virtual machine so it's very laggy indeed This is the game. That was an experience. Never try this on a virtual machine. And this is like the the, this, like the easiest game that any PC could run. That's how bad the virtual machines are. However, now that we are, uh, now that I've explained to you everything, hopefully this will be the best method for running the latest version of Steam on Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. Hopefully that, that it stays like that forever and no need for change and I, I do I one last time I apologize for not replying to any anybody since these past three months I've replied to some but some I haven't gotten time to even check on it that's because um, everyone's busy with life basically so yeah um, at least at least I had time to reply to some comments and I had now I have time to make this video right over there and hopefully uh, hopefully we, we won't need we won't need another video explaining how to run another latest version of Steam on Windows 8 if we can find a solution then we then we will do it but if we won't we'll just leave it and shout out to this youtuber right here uh, who has done an amazing job he has also done a couple of videos for running Win steam on windows xp and vista but i'm not really sure i have seen it but but some some of the comments say that there are problems that need to be fixed so i blame steam for that and i'm i'm, I'm gonna thank him for the I'm gonna thank him for the the method he has uploaded in the description, and I'll do put his channel in the description below. So basically, so see you guys later.